Assalamu alaikum. What's the most important part of a report? Any kind of report, whether it be a, a marketing plan, a marketing research report, or any other report, annual reports, etc. It's the executive summary. The executive summary is the most important part of the report, yet, when you come to see uh, how it gets written, uh, we see a lot, I've seen a lot of blunders, and um, I'm here to correct some of those. So first of all, what is the executive summary? So the executive summary, with it, why do they call it an executive summary? Right? Why don't they call, just call it a summary? <laughs> an executive summary is a summary for executives, right? And we know executives don't quite have that much time to read, or, to read the report, right? So the idea is by reading this executive summary, you will know enough about what is it about to make a decision in a way. Um, of course, you could definitely get into more details uh, by reading the report. But the idea is that the executive summary really summarizes the report. Okay, so where's the problem? I'll tell you where the problem is. I've seen hundreds, maybe thousands of, of reports. And, and these are not just reports by, by students, undergrad, MBA, executive MBA, but I've even seen it in companies. And I still get surprised that um, we still don't seem to, to, pro, to write a good executive summary. So where is the problem? The problem is um, I've seen this countless times where uh, you would say, oh, this is a report about yada, yada, yada. And we will talk about uh, uh, this study that we did and we will provide recommendations and then con con conclusion at the end and da, 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 da. you're just basically rehashing the table of contents and you're not even telling me anything in the table of contents you're just using them using the table of contents in a sentence which really doesn't help me or help uh, the executive in any way so then what should it include it should self-suffice by reading this, I really know everything I need to know. So for example, let's assume this is uh, a marketing research uh, paper or a marketing research report, okay? So um, I'll start with something like, uh, uh, what's the objective of this research? Um, uh, why is this important? Uh, then the research methodology, how was the research conducted, okay? A qualitative research, interviews, focus groups, etc. How many were they? The demographics of these people. Uh, if this was a, a survey, sample size of the survey, um, uh, the demographics of, of, of the respondents, right? And then I would get into uh, the findings uh, of, of, the, uh, of the research. Uh, here's what we found, the major findings that is. And then the final uh, recommendations and uh, conclusions based on this. So how would I make a decision based on what you gave me here, right? Something that I can make use of, right? It doesn't just become a piece of paper that everyone writes. Um, because here's the thing. Imagine you've spent, I don't know, 50 pages writing this report and all that the executive is going to read is that one page that you wrote, right? How would you feel, right? So what, where do you think you should be spending a lot of your time on at the end? Of course, that's something else. The executive summary doesn't get written in the beginning. Yes, it is shown in the beginning, but it is after the whole thing is complete. Now let me write the executive summary and then let me write a clear, executive summary that I could really um, get something out of, uh, not just a, a rehash of table of contents that's not even giving me any information, right? 
I hope this, this kind of uh, clarifies it. Uh, and again, providing specifics uh, in it that could really be helpful for the decision maker, in this case, the executive, to make uh, a decision. Um, usually, executive summaries uh, are um, in one page, preferably one page. They shouldn't really exceed one page unless you really have to, right? But it's, it's really a concise uh, summary of the uh, research report that you have done. Now, sometimes, for example, this is a marketing plan. In a marketing plan, okay, so we will say, okay, so what is this marketing plan about? The marketing research that has been conducted, remember what we just said in the marketing re research? Same thing, you probably have uh, something about it uh, and something that's of use, right? Again, the type of research that was done, the methodology, the, the major results of it, and then how you what you recommend. Uh, for example, again, in the, in the marketing plan, you might include also the uh, macro environmental uh, forces, right? And how they impact uh, this business uh, that you're in, especially the major ones, right? And, and, and specifics uh, here, not generics. Um, we could also get into then, of course, if we're looking at the marketing plan, the segmentation analysis, uh, segmentation uh, and targeting, right? And then positioning. So in segmentation, making sure that we are talking about, okay, for example, we're going, to, we have two segments in mind or three segments, and these are what they are. Um, and this is, these are the target markets that we're going to target. And, and what did we base it on? Um, positioning and the positioning statement, um, getting then into um, uh, the marketing mix, uh, whether it's four P's or seven P's, a product or a service, and getting into specifics of each, um, whether it's pricing and, and, and the pricing and the strategy that you're going to use and why you think this is a valid choice. Um, the distribution channels and, 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 and what's your strategy there and why you think we should be uh, going uh, to it and why it makes sense. Uh, promotion, of course, and expanding a lot on promotion um, on what will you be using, uh, perhaps what will your ad say, the media channels you're going to use, why you're going to use them. Of course, yes, in brief. And of course, the most important things that I should know uh, when you write this. Um, goals, uh, if you have uh, any and any financial projections that are very important to know with some final KPIs or something like that. So the idea is, again, it's in a nutshell something that I can really make use of. Uh, not reading it like, I mean, I, I probably read uh, executive summaries like more like introductions rather than an executive summary. Right. Other than the rehash of, of uh, table of contents. So so that's just something I wanted to highlight. Uh, hope this uh, helps. Um, again, being specific, um, giving me information I can really use. And if I want to find even more details, then I would go to the report. But the executive summary should suffice. Right. By reading it, I know enough to make a decision in a way. And then I know enough to um, uh, n knowing that this is what the report is, is, is about. Of course, yes, I could get into more details, but the idea is that it, can, it should try to stand alone um, because everyone is busy. I hope this helps. Thank you very much.